and foremost, before we go any further, I'm sure you guys quite noticed that recently, or as of recent, we hadn't been posting any content on the channel. But stay calm guys, stay calm. So what was happening is we are in a period of transition from the season 1 and the season 2. This For this past 3 months, we have been like deciding on what content to put in the season 2 to make sure that you guys enjoy and get the best content possible. So stay tuned guys, your favourite show is back and this time is in full force. So good day to you or wherever you are, welcome to well news and i'm your host well i'm your host with an anonymous name and bringing you a weekly update of your favorite game so let's get right into the facts so the first story of the day comes from konami itself remember some time like three months ago it should be in is it in, in, in June or March? I'm not quite sure. Like Konami promised that in past 2019, they're gonna like add 12 new officially licensed leagues. You know, and even though it actually took long, like they had to release the leagues like one, one after the other, like one after the other. And the game had officially started before them having released all 12 licenses. But finally, they've managed to live up to their promise and well, as you can see on the screen, they've finally managed to add the Thai League, officially fully licensed Thai League, making it the 12th installment or the 12th edition of its 12th license league plan. So, well, you know, all I can say is all well down to Konami, at least this time around, they've managed to live up to their promises and to their expectations. And don't get me wrong, I've seen some few comments, few comments of people saying maybe the Thai League isn't that much of a big league. But guys, to be honest, this is the first time Konami have managed to put this much number of licensed leagues. And honestly speaking, we really hope that Konami are not going to scrap off these leagues, these 12 license leagues, like what they did with the um, the Italian D2 league and the Spanish D2 league. Konami are known very well, and this is on track record that they do scrap things with each and every installment. But you know, instead of them like stacking things up, stacking things into the games as time advances or progresses they actually scrap out things and add some few things and add a few things in it which makes it a bit like the you know it's, it's more of a, a decrement than an increment so i'm i'm but anyways i'm really sh happy that they managed to add the tie leg and for you to be informed well informed i as a pro evolution soccer blogger or vlogger right when i was opening my social media uh, accounts and pages i got to understand that konami has a wide fan base in asia especially in those uh countries like nepal thailand uh taiwan and stuff so i think them putting out a thai league it was out of close consideration and uh a close planning and, and survey of which places have like the most number of fans so i think there's a plus or a, a pro to konami itself having a lot of like fans in thailand uh this gives them the platform you know a greater outreach it means marketing wise a lot of people are gonna like get to buy the the game especially people in the asian countries and even like try to put a bit other african teams you know in africa there's only like one team that's like pleasure one which is a generic team so i'm pretty quite sure if they you know try to in include other african teams or leagues actually it will actually be good for the african fan base so and other news the next story of the episode is uh, a, a post uh, release game analysis for me so i've been looking online like a lot of people have been indeed complaining about um konami itself and how the game some bit of niggles here and there you know they didn't really polish the ai like the ai keeps on doing the same thing over and over again when it comes to its attack the only thing it's doing is to like put the ball wide try to put a low cross in and have it scored with the tap in which is 
very frustrating like over and over again 90 percent of its chances or its goals are coming from the same gameplay of it putting the ball wide low crossing it into the box and having the striker put it put it into the uh the net um into the back of the net as a tap in so i feel like i don't understand how Konami could really rush to put out a game since they put it out on the 30th of August and have the game have this, you know, unnecessary, uh, to be honest, unnecessary glitches or niggles, you know. You can't tell me they didn't have enough time to test, to test the AI and how the AI plays. And a lot of people have been crying for a patch. The other, so they haven't really released an official patch. Uh, I, I've been looking at the Twitter if you can see like on their twitter they've been really responding to people people telling them about the this issue with the ai just spamming low crosses constantly and i'm sure like they are saying they're looking onto the situation i hope the next patch is going to be of them uh fixing this issue and the other issue as well comes from uh, the gameplay itself. As you can see, there's been a lot of interlocking into the game. I don't understand how in 2018 we still have Konami having trouble with the game interlocking. Uh, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna show you guys on screen a video from the True Breeds. Uh, he had, he did another video actually complaining about Konami's, um, you know, incompetency in some parts of the game and we still got interlocking rather advantageous for us because he would have had a strike on goal there's harry kane's arms going through the turf i still don't understand why they can't fix those things i'm gonna look for this interview from adam batty which he did of past 2015 him saying we've completely worked on the system uh, on the graphics engine and we've literally terminated almost all the interlocking this is what he said i don't remember if it's past 15 or 16 that done away with the interlocking so which means by now we have to be having a perfect package without any interlocking after three years of having focused on removing the player interlocking and as you can see in past 18 and past 19 see constantly when players fall on the ground their hands get into the tap, right into the ground. Like, what the heck, Konami? What are you doing, to be honest? The gameplay, honestly speaking, the gameplay is nice. Looking at the gameplay, you're really improving. But it's those little things you you, you, you just don't focus in, like player interlocking, testing the AI's uh, movement and gameplay before releasing the game. An amazing gameplay just for you to have interlocking uh, objects and to have a gameplay where the AI constantly spams low crosses from the flanks and the scores from the tap from tap ins. Now I mean I don't understand like how Konami does it but on a real okay I'm not really hating or shaming Konami. They've really done a very good job with the PES 19 and best believe this is the best pass that has been released to date. You can argue whatever you want, but they have really done a great job with PES 19. But it's the little things. I think if they just put out a patch uh, to fix these things, it will be the perfect package. And the other thing, the last thing I want to say are the, the squads. You see, it's another thing that I don't understand. Like, why would Konami put out a game which is like squads that are literally the same as those in PES 18? And even in PES 18, they haven't really put an update for PES 18 to update the squads. Look at your competitor, the next competitor to you, FIFA EA. What do they do? If you look at FIFA 17 today, it has updated squads, but then you can't tell me that past 18. Right now, it's a new season. The new season already begun, but you still have updated squads. And then you release past 18, which is supposed to be like the game that covers the new season. And it still has got like squads that are not updated. Really, I don't really understand like what's with Konami, but I hope they're gonna really listen to you us bloggers and everyone in the community and just try to put out few patches that are gonna you know like fix these little niggles that are left from making the game a complete package 
so that's it for this week's episode we give you the news you give us the likes subscriptions i'm your host anonymous and you've been loving world news take care and see you next week bye